couple years I struggled with trying to bring calm, order and beauty in my living spaces but the only way I seemed to know how was by keeping up with the new things. Latest gadgets, more organizing beans, more plastic everything and so on. Once I moved to the States, I quickly lost sight of the simplicity I was raised in and was okay with for so long. I started to ask myself if I too needed those huge refrigerators, cabinets wrapped all around, and all sorts of appliances. As a native Italian, I grew up used to what's considered here a tiny kitchen. Although it never felt small to me, instead it was always the place where life was happening, where life was sustained, and where life was celebrated. The kitchen is where we spend most of our day in, and the space that makes slow living come easier. In our everyday modern lives, we live with a sense of urgency in everything we do, that even something as vital as nourishing our body gets rushed, pushed to the bottom of our to-do list. And maybe the reason why we tend to eat out more than we should, use processed foods as shortcuts when preparing meals for our family, is the lack of a calming, clean, meaning clutter-free space. Few changes though can turn a space into a peaceful, inspiring environment again. One of the first rules I've learned in minimalism is to stop the flow of things coming in before we even start decluttering or organizing a space. A simple to use, manage and keep up with kitchen is what helps us be inspired to create healthier meals and to look forward to investing in our own labor. Back in Italy, people cook their meals with fresh ingredients. Farmers markets are an everyday way of shopping and people buy only what they can carry by hand. My point with this is that having a small pantry does not limit you with the quality or the taste of the dishes you can prepare. A well-stocked kitchen is not about keeping everything we don't eat. That was a mistake purchase of those just-in-case items. Again, thanks to minimalism, I learned to make peace with my mistakes, understanding that we all change, our tastes change, and the seasonal life within change. I want my kitchen to reflect my vision and need for health. Staying true to the seasonal life I mean is the easiest way to start not only making room, but to start making the right decisions when shopping, in this case, for food, which snowballs into creating a working environment that finally reflects you. So I started with eliminating processed foods, sugary snacks, and keeping my shopping list to one ingredient, whole foods as much as possible. This is what allows me to keep a small pantry functioning. Pretty much everything I have and use gets displayed on my open shelves. Therefore, I need to be very intentional with not creating visual clutter and mindful with the food I buy. Storing bulk purchases in glass jars that are mixed between the purpose of both help me to have a quick view of the ingredients I have at hand, making it much easier to reach out and use while I'm cooking instead of ending up forgetting about them. It also helps the food last longer and can be doubled as drinking glasses or to store a take with us pasta salad, fresh cut out fruit. This is a very easy way to reduce your inventory by simply using items that can be serving multiple purposes, like also these glass oven dishes I have right here. I can bag in them, I can transport food in them. It makes my weekly prepping much easier and also store leftovers. When thinking about adding coziness and beauty into our space, it's a non-brainer option to uh, wanting to keep our counters and shelves clutter-free by using only consumable goods. So think in terms of candles and plants and the cooking books that you truly enjoy using. Also the spices and the food that you display, they are the pop of color that we try to mimic by keeping up with knickknacks. I love the freedom that minimalism as a tool allows me to experience. 
to have better control of my spaces and health in this particular time of my life. But minimalism doesn't have to become another label where only neutral colors are allowed, only streamlined furnitures and items. It's about finding yourself again. So adding beauty and warmth for me is to add little touches of thrifted items that tell a story or an heirloom from my grandmother, which leads me to the next point, which is making room for what sparks joy, for what truly matters to you. Minimalism doesn't have to feel limiting. Instead, it needs to feel nourishing. It needs to feel like your life is just getting better. I particularly like to find homemade clay mugs that people donate. I find them very interesting, besides beautiful and cozy, to read the names of those people who made them and just look at the creative process that they put into that and it went through. You might believe that having multiple appliances can cut out time in the kitchen. And although it could be a very valid point, I came to the conclusion that at least for the type of cooking I want to prepare in this season of life, the time that I initially seemed to have saved went into the cleaning and the maintaining and putting away of the item. Thank you. 